Hello and welcome back. We are in Hasango, where Eotas uh, strolled through. We can see his footstep, rather large, probably struggles to find the appropriate size uh, shoes for himself, but, and he can't even use boats, so. But that's not really our main concern right now, but the fact that a lot of people died here. The Nagas moved in. We got some survivors in the storage house, storage tower, and apparently the the lighthouse filled with Adra is uh, well, it's, it's still standing, but apparently the whatever charge the Adra had, it's gone. I'll be more than half handy, So, we can go that way? Yeah, we need to go around. That was one step. Probably stepped into, wa stepped into water after that. Huh. Yeah, we're just gonna take their monies. They don't need it anymore. Whoa, really? That's a bit unusual. Oh, they interrupted me. What a bunch of bastards. Can we just shoot the barrel? Oh, they're not explosive barrels. Why so many barrels, though? Is there a way to destroy a lot of them? Fast? So, let's do a, a frost and all the barrels. What? Why can't I do it? Okay, whatever. Let's uh, take that, sh that shot. It seems like there's nothing in them. Okay, there is a, a cannon here. But nothing else. We can also go inside. Cannon rampart. Can we use the cannon? A heavy brass bomber is perched atop the wall, pointing at the sea. From here you have a commanding view of the flooded fortress. You know that swell of the motherly pride when you see a newborn? Getting my taste of it. Maya pets the hide of the weapon. Scan the fortress. Broken towers rise feebly from the water and corpses and debris float between them. You see no sign of life until you note movement near the center of the fort. A large cluster of Naga has a uh, congregated, congregated uh, on the central walkway. I'll leave the bombard alone. We don't need to blow anything up. If anything, the fort is already in bad shape. We can take out the Naga. Last thing we need is uh, using cannons on the fort. And we're not gonna do that unless we have to. What? Having some trouble moving through this. But, but, but this seems like a lower level area for sure. Like, I don't know. 
Probably the game wanted me to come here a lot sooner. I'm not mainly doing this to kill the Nagab warrior. I suppose that's part of the plan. I'll be staying back here. Not get myself blown fries to shit. shit again. Distant light? That looks like something. Got it. Oh boy. Probably not do that. Don't these explode? <laughs> Come on, explode! You be right. oh, I'll be more than half oh, I'll be more than half Not sure how you're uh, getting rid of a pile of gunpowder with one arrow. But hey, don't question it. Wait a second. Why are we invisible currently? Uh, suddenly. Am I missing something here? So if I go that way... We can't loot. And we become invisible. Hmm... Maybe because of the dark? Yeah. Do we have a, a torch? That anybody can equip? Okay, let's try that. It's gotta be other. No. No, not, not other. Definitely not food and drink. It's not consumable. It's maybe a weapon. I think it's a weapon. But you can equip it like a weapon. Torches. Unfortunately, you can't search. Uh, so you're pretty much stuck okay let's let's buy value that thing clearly has doesn't have a lot of value right I don't see it what am I missing here it's not armor it's not clothing not consumable not food and drink it could be other, like, it, okay, it's other. Wait. Sure. Was it the problem that... Along uh, his foot, bully, Doc. Now, this is just weird. Okay, let's take it out. And, um, I, I suppose, uh... Explore. The Hassan go forth further. Huh. Hey, Nagas. Wow. Huh. A lot of Nagas moved in. That must have hurt. See ah. Not like it was completely walled off. For example, they can just like... We can just go up here. Whoa, that's a lot of nagas. You guys wanna die? We got trouble, folks. Do I do uh, a pillar? Just to kill him? Are they resistant to ice? Please don't interrupt my skill. Did it work? Can't tell. I can also terrify them if I'm concerned about damage. Doesn't seem like it worked. 
Oh, they, it definitely worked. Totem is marked for the hunt. Totem is dead. Destroyed. You guys want to do something? Kitchen. All right, let's check it out. <clears throat> no, stay. We can go up. We can. The stairs descend uh, to a flooded hallway. The water is clear and the passage seems to continue for quite ways. Swimming to the passage. As the passage begins to grow dim and the water cloudy, you reach an intersection where the walls are spiderweb with cracks. The hall continues to the left and to the right. The way on the left is dark. There is a faint glow to your right, but still dark shapes obscure the passages. passage. Go right. Orient yourself in the passage. Or finely honed, your finely honed uh, sense of direction tells you that the hall to the right leads west, while the road to the left seems to bend southeast back to the docks. Go right. Swim onward. You pull yourself past the corner and into a labyrinth of carnage. Debris from half collapsed walls and shattered barricades uh, clogs the tunnel. Corpses weighed down by armor and bloated with decay bob and hover in the open spaces. You kick off the rubble to propel yourself forward. Even so, the way forward is more taxing than you initially thought. Keep swing! Partial success! You press on and by the time you have a chance to regret that decision, you are too far ahead to turn back. Your vision begins to darken. You pull and kick your way ahead, ignoring your burning limbs and focusing everything on the rapidly fading light. Just when you think you can hold your breath no longer, you see light on the right and break the sur uh, break the surface, your abused body trembling. Watcher is injured. But why the watcher? Why not just send in a there? He's... Wait a second, where are, where are we? So we're in the dining hall now. Ishii, quiet. We can just rest. I quite like resting. There's no limitation on it, like, unlike it was in Pillars 1, so... I suppose the... The way it's discouraged... Is that if you use very strong buffs, that you probably don't wanna lose it. Garbage! Cracks in the wall... Let's leave. I don't even know what are we trying to do with uh, with that. So, can we even go back? Yes. We got Folks. Let's go back. Gunpowder barrel Let might blow up. Right between the eyes. I'm having some trouble moving through this. Oh, more Negus coming in. Good dad. How many Negus are there? Mm, yeah. 
not a particularly challenging. I definitely want to go for a uh, uh, path of the damned. Run after that, after this one as well. But I don't particularly mind that. Uh, I can just do. Well, I I do have more uh, room for error. I can just. Uh, but I, I did need it. I did need some time to fine tune the AI a little bit. So. Come on, that archer. Ah! Also, I didn't want to be in that situation that I, for example, like a character, but I just can't take that character because, like, she's or he's too weak, and You're that thinking. that always sucks. Especially if it was uh, the scenario that uh, the sidekicks are so strong. What's and the uh, story characters are, are kind of lackluster. Uh, that would have been disappointing. However, that's not my experience from Pillars <laughs> 1. So, can we destroy this rubble? Sure. I don't think so. I can't hit it, but it's immune to everything. I'm for sure that dining hall. Okay, maybe we're gonna go back to the kitchen and swim left and see how that works out. Because I like to be thorough, just to see. Well, explore the dead end so you really know what the hell is going on. You gotta go left. Pull the door open. The, ha the hallway curves around until you reach the door. It's fallen with water and stuck in place. You give it a cursory tug, but it will take more than more effort to pull it open. Use the pry bar. You wedge the pry bar into the door jamb and, bracing your feet against the ceiling, push all your weight into it. The door pops open, revealing stairs to the surface. You swim up. <clears throat> hey, Nega Soul, what's going on here? Leave it to me. Well, the Negas did die. I suppose it it ex expected that they have souls too, and perhaps uh, I should talk with them. You feel the presence of a soul twisting and sinuous. It notices you too, and draws nearer. Its restless essence tingles against your own. It is searching, hunting. You recognize it as a soul of a naga. What is this? Come closer. You glow so brightly. Just like the... The, the soul recoils from a memory of violence like a child snatching her hand from a hot stove. What are you searching, searching? Away. No way. <clears throat> Memory blooms at her core. A burst of vehemence shudders through her essence. The striped fiends profane the island, endlessly burrowing, building. They bury the Adra under stone. I like how Maya is really checking out the wall. I actually, we are all kind of checking out the wall while this conversation is taking place. Sugan says we must find a way in. Sugan says I must find a way in. There is warmth in this thought, pride. Who is Sugan? You're a scout? Speaker for the gods. Grandfather to many. He leads us here, and here I must find a way in. I have to say, your s is a little bit forced, Mega Soul. What if this is just a as a whole co conspiracy? Because people think that the Nagas are like 
they say that all the time, but they actually don't. They only say it when they are talking with humans to annoy the hell out of them. And they're just gonna be like, whoa. I don't know what their end game is. I don't know that, but I suspect that there might be something up. Okay, continue. The fiends gather at the walls, searching to... Not for me, but they see me still. You feel a prickle of sympathetic pain as if pierced by a volley of bullets. You died, come with me. It is too dark. I will lose my way or be swallowed by the terrible walker. Fear shivers through her. Stay a little longer. Your glow is a comfort here. Well, I'm gonna put it plain and simple. You dead. No, not dead. Still searching. A desperate dissonant ripple from the through the Naga's soul. What are you looking for now? What is this? Yeah, I'm not a mystic. Away, I said. A glowing, shining way. As she speaks, you feel yourself pulled into her memory and into the dark abyss of the in between. You remember it from your own brief sojourn there. Yet from the darkness, you and Yanas see a bright rift, a pillar with roots that seem to reach into the heart of the world. You recognize this as an Adra pillar. The way glows like an anglerfish lure, but it feels safe. It does, you're drawn to it. Drift toward it. I <laughs> will follow the way, I think. But then I see another glowing thing. This one does not feel safe. Well, I guess this is the day I got I got charmed by an imaginary snake. Continue. Another glowing figure appears, this one shaped like an enormous walker. Three stars burn above its brow. You feel Yanas's fear at this walker thing, even as you recognize it as Eotas. Draw back. You watch as the glowing figure approaches the pillar, it reaches out, and the violent current rips through the darkness. You hear a chorus of screams, but they sound distant and distorted, as if coming from underwater. Light and energy flows <coughs> flow into the strange being from the pillar and from a hundred points gathered around it. At last the pillar is dark. The glowing walker recedes, brighter than before. Everything is dark. Now there is no way and no light. I... I'm afraid. I'll restore the other pillar, then you can continue on your way. The way? I am searching for a way. Show me! She melts into the edder and becomes a quiet presence beside you. Uh, what? I can't go there. Cannon Rampart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is very looted. I'm pretty sure that's... I, I looted here, right? Did the cannon rampart? What happened here? Swim back to the kitchen! You must gather... You must gather your party. Well, it was it was odd when I, I was at the cannon rampart. We had like a, that invisible area. I was not... I didn't know what to make of it. Hmm. Should I go back to the cannon rampart and see uh, what it looks right now? The party before venturing forth. Seriously? You saved that? Wait a second. Oh, Luther! Sweet redemption. You must gather your party before venturing forward. So, 
<laughs> These guys are easy. The decency to die? What? Oh, yeah, that. But they have nothing. Fine mail armor. This is just garbage. Let's go, guys. Gotta go. Wait a second. We can't climb up there. No, we can't. We can, uh... Maybe go across with a line? How about, uh... Check out, the uh, What's happening in here? Because, apparently... We have a bunch of corpses that we didn't loot. That is... Well, the darkness is gone. Or... This is not... Well, we still have... Like, almost like shadows running after us. Look at that. It's really hard to... It feels like... It looks like maybe like some shadows are running after us. Okay. Well, that was weird. Anyway, we did loot everything here. And uh, it seems like... That place is perhaps less haunted now. We can also go across. Most likely. A rope and grappling hook. Throw the grappling hook across the gap. You do it. That's the rope. So we can go down. Do I wanna go down? Oh yeah, I do. But I also want to go up. Wait. I just want to go down. So we need to somehow... Can we... Can we reactivate the other pillar? Because, as I understand it, whatever energy it had was probably taken by Eotas and... Uh, can't really fix it. Sure. We're just taking everybody's money. Engineering workshop. Should we wait? Uh, till morning. We can wait till morning. We don't have to rest. Oh, just to see more. Of course, people are getting paid. While we are waiting. Engineering workshop. I suppose we need to check it out. Oh, it seems like this place is perhaps not as big. Whoa. Let's go. Hey, Nagas, what's up? I'm kind of glad that I restarted the game. I, I do tend to forget it from time to time, but then I'm pretty much reminded why I should. We have the Whatever long load times, easy, breezy, wet and uh, and uh, I don't know, a little bit choppy fights. I'm just taking your stuff, don't mind me. But actually, your stuff is just a disgrace. An older man hunches over a work table, scribbling furiously by the light of a flickering lantern. His hair is an oily, matted mess, and his cheeks are streaked with black. He looks up as you enter, shielding his eyes from the torchlight behind you. Finally, some peace and quiet. Just, Just keep that bird away from my work. He glares at the Shiza. Stand down, Ishii. The man is doing important work. Slave sphincter, those snakes were noisy. 
I don't suppose you brought any extra parchment with you? He brushes a lock of greasy hair behind his ear. As he does, his ink-stained fingers leave another mark on his cheek. What is that? Shake your hand? I'll get you the safety command. Come, there's a tower by the docks. No, I've gotta stay. Gotta finish while there's still time. He breaks off and pinches the bridge of his nose, smudging it with black too. Slowly, Aimuro. Can't expect them to know if you don't tell them. He takes another deep breath and nods, seemingly to himself. I'm writing it all down. My research, my work. Something to survive before the next walk in Colossus, the next Naga warband. He blinks, his eyes wide and distant. I, I realized that you were just about to get murdered by some Nagas banging on your door, but you're safe now. Do you need something? If not, I should focus. So much to do. Uh, there are survivors holed up by the docks. I can help you reach them. He waves a hand, already turning back to his nose. Safety in numbers, eh? A comforting illusion. Let the others have it if they wish it. He wipes his cheeks, smearing more ink across it. I must see that my work survives. What happened here? What didn't? A colossus made of Adra marched through the fort, grew bright like luminous, and scores of soldiers fell dead. Incredible. His quill stops moving and his gaze drops distant. If Aethys got to them first, then you can fit their remains in a pouch of white leaf. Sighing, Maya scratches the back of her head. Then the Naga killed everyone else. Except Latharn, I suppose. Yes, he must have left. Latharn? Dornstar fellow. Arrived yesterday, last week. Complained of strange dreams. Smart of him to leave so soon. He's got to be acting on his dreams, trying to help our god. Zuhira survived, along with a few others. They should split up. Safer that way. Better odds. I see. Do you need something? If not, I should focus. So much to do. How do I get to the lighthouse? Really? How indeed. A high anxious laugh tumbles out of him. Naga everywhere. Suppose your best chance will be up along the walls, west and south. But how to get there? He shakes his head. Better perhaps to keep going south, around the edge of the fort. Through Fleetmaster Ko's office. More cover from the Naga. Farewell. Alright, let's go. So... How about... But we can't go that way. This is the only place where we can go. Oh, actually I may have a legit question about how to get to the lighthouse. Seems like the auto move is smarter than me. Yep, I missed that one. Hey. Wasn't half bad. Alright. Well, let's just go this way. Ready to brawl? Yeah! Coral Nego Archer. Right on target. So where do we need to go? Oh yeah, we can go down the stairs. There's really not much point uh, blowing up the barrels or just destroying the barrels. They're not really holding loot, I suppose. Sometimes they do, but these are not really the ones. Fine pistol. Also, we found some kind of leather. Letter from uh, Latarn. This letter is written by in, in in a small meticulous hand. Co, 
You know I've never been one for superstition, but I'm telling you, there's something to these dreams. Couldn't tell you what they mean, only that they wake me three times a night. All of us working your farms, pious atosians to a man, are having them too. I've got no mind to tell you how to run your fort, but I've got to look after my brethren here. We left homes and families back in Ratseras. And now we are seeing strange things and laboring uh, next to Duck's Ransom in Black Powder. Or did you reckon a dumb hick like me wouldn't notice? So... I remember this little soldier. Glad to see you made a friend. Hey, come with me, doggy. He takes a few tentative steps toward and sniffs your hand. He lowers his head under your fingers and looks up at you expectantly. Scratch behind the ears. He closes his eye and raises his head, helping you find just the right spot. After several seconds of this, he stands and shakes himself off, ready to follow. Fast friends, I guess. Let's just go to the lighthouse. Oh, another footstep Aotas. That's one. Well. Well, I do, do know that. That's his, uh, left feet. What's over this way? Lonely cat. Oh, at the top. So we won't be able to loot that. Oh, I could have also climbed up, I suppose. That was a uh, another way to do things. So I... The only thing that we possibly could check out is this. But do we want to check it out? Do I want to run down? Okay, let's just run down and check it out before we go in. Maybe we're gonna find some Nagas here. Probably not. Whoa! Right between the eyes. I could use this uh, missile that I do from time to time. Six projectiles, it's, it's not that bad. That's why I'm using it, an autocast. Alright, we got some bombs plus uh, grappling hook. That might be uh, actually valuable. I don't know if we lose those things when we use them. I would assume not, unless special circumstances happen. So, time to enter the lighthouse. Or maybe next time. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to keep the episodes uh, like a reasonable length. <clears throat> anyway, thanks for watching guys and uh, see you next time.